Elizabeth starts out five miles away from school and walks away from school at three miles per hour. So she's already five miles away and she's going to walk even further away at three miles per hour. The table below shows how far some other students are from school at various times. Each person is moving at a constant speed starting at time is equal to zero. Which students started out farther from school than Elizabeth? Select all that apply. So essentially we need to figure out where these students were at time equals zero. So we know where they were at time one, two, and three. And so let's think about their rate towards or away from school. So, and remember, this is distance from school. So for, as we increase, as we go from hour one to hour two, Gordon gets two miles closer. So his distance to school is decreasing. So where was he at time equals zero? I'll put time equals zero up here because I don't have any, actually I'll put it right here. I'll try to squeeze it into the chart. So where was he at time equals zero? Well, he, he would have been two miles further. So he would have been six miles away. Notice it's consistent. In the first hour, he would have gotten two miles closer to school. Then the next hour, he would have gotten two miles even closer. And in the third hour, he actually gets two miles closer and he actually gets to school. So Gordon started out six miles away at t equals zero. So Gordon did start out farther from school than Elizabeth. So we can circle Gordon. He meets the conditions. Now let's think about Giovanni. So at time one, he's five miles away from school. Then at time two, or at, time, or at one hour, he's five miles away. After two hours, he's six miles away. So he's getting further from school. So this is a plus one. And then after another hour, he is seven miles away. So every hour that goes by, he's a mile further. He's going one mile an hour away from school. So where was he at time equal zero? Well, he would have been a mile closer to school relative to time equal one. So he would have been four miles away. So he did not start out farther than Elizabeth, who started out five miles away. Now let's look at Hannah. Hannah at every time is just fi exactly five miles away from school. So she's napping or something. She is not actually moving. So Hannah didn't, she started out, you know, napping at exactly the same distance as Elizabeth, but she did not start out farther from school than Elizabeth. So Hannah does not meet the criteria meet the criteria. Now let's look at Alberto. At time equals one, he is nine miles from school. And then after one hour, he gets a mile and a half, he gets a mile and a half further from school. After another hour, he gets a mile and a half, a mile and a half even further. So where was he at time equals zero? Well, he would have been a mile and a half closer to school. So nine minus 1.5 is he would have been seven and a half miles away. So even though he, even though he's going away from, well, he definitely started further from school than Elizabeth. Elizabeth started out five miles away. Alberto started off seven and a half miles away and is going even further and further and further. So the two students that started out farther from school than Elizabeth are Gordon and Alberto.